for today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to start up your cargo van business and how to make two thousand dollars a week and i'm gonna be giving you all the tools that you need to know to be successful in this business and if you stick tuned to the end of this video you will learn how to fully start up your cargo van or either box truck business and you will learn the most important things that you need to know to get this thing on the road if you don't know me, my name is King Lauda. I have started a box truck and cargo van business at the age of 20 years old and I have been financially free ever since. I quit my job since I was only 19 years old and I have been making a full time living income off of crypto alone. If you want to know the steps that it takes to quit your job and be financially free, you can watch the video on how to set up your crypto account and start making a thousand plus dollars weekly. But in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to start up this transportation business stay tuned for more after the intro Woo! so i recently done a video on the cargo van business and it blew up by surprise i wasn't even expecting it so now i'm going to give you guys a more in detail version on how to start up your cargo van business and i'm going to be going over how you can save the most money and the ways that you can save money and budget cuts here and there so if you don't know already, the first thing that you want to do when you're starting up any business is you want to go ahead and create an LLC. This LLC will separate yourself from your business so that you will be making at least two streams of income if you want to report your taxes that way and also you can have tax write-offs tax write-offs will save your life because you can use pretty much any of your personal expenses and write them off with your business what this means is that if i have business expenses and i have a hundred dollars that i'm buying in gas a day and i also have thirty dollars a week for my personal vehicles gas that thirty dollar receipt and that a hundred dollars a day can all be written off and the government will pay you back for it instead of you having to pay taxes on it. So a way you can put this on blast and a benefit for having this LLC, now you have gas for your personal vehicle that you don't have to pay for. Now you have meals that you're not paying for because you have business meetings that you're attending. Clothes can be a write off because you have to wear clothes to business meetings, to business trips guys. So you can pretty much write off anything once you establish yourself in LLC. Now, big tip number one is you don't necessarily want to put the name trucking in your LLC name. You don't necessarily want to put real estate or you don't necessarily want to put that it is a food business. Now you're probably looking at me like, why are you going over real estate and food? Well guys, the banks like to see that your business is a consistent money maker and the risks are really in trucking, food, and real estate businesses. They know that you're self-employed, but every food business doesn't thrive. Some food, a lot of food businesses are struggling. Trucking businesses can be struggling sometimes. A lot of trucking businesses don't thrive because there is a lot of expenses in that lane and real estate is not always consistent. So banks don't like to see that when you're applying for things. So as you're starting up your LLC, be careful with putting trucking at the end of your LLC name. You want to get a business bank account so that you can start writing off all your purchases and so that everything will be documented from your business and your personal self because once you try to get this house or once you try to get business vehicles they want to see that you have purchases coming from your business and how much your business is bringing in so that is the second thing you want to do and shortly after you get this business bank account you want to go ahead and apply for some business credit and a good thing for this trucking business is that you can get fuel cards you can get multiple fuel cards you can get a to b a to B is a good fuel card, and also you can get the fuel man. These are very, very good fuel cards to purchase, and a lot of factoring companies and a lot of companies are gonna be hitting up your cell phone number to offer you fuel cards and factoring. So when you're starting up your business, what you wanna do is you wanna get you a business cell phone. Get yourself a business cell phone. I know you can't see that, but I just said it, so we're gonna keep this going. You wanna get a business cell phone, cause like I said, you're gonna get 10 
five to ten calls a day people trying to promote dispatching services factoring and you know like i said field cards and also people are going to be trying to give you funding even though you don't even qualify for funding because you just created your business so one of the most important things that you need to know about this trucking industry is that you don't make your money on site especially with the box truck or semi lane you don't make your money same day or even the next day this is where a factoring company will come in hand so you're gonna need factoring guys you're gonna need factoring because what a factoring company will allow you to do is for you to get paid in just two days instead of you having to wait for your load money and 60 days and such and such of that sort but if you are in the cargo van lane you will not have to worry about factoring that much because most of the apps that you're going to be working through, most of the companies that you're going to be contracted with are of course going to give you W9s or 1099s and going to be paying you per week or such and such, whatever you agree on, or your app is going to be paying you the same day, especially if you're doing Amazon. Now the next thing that you're going to need in this cargo van business or box truck business is you're going to have to start up your FMCSA authority if you want to start doing some real loads with your box truck or if your cargo van you don't necessarily need this guys your FMCSA which is a $300 startup application and what the FMCSA stands for is they stand for Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. So it's pretty much regulating all these truck drivers on the road and your hazmat certifications and everything you need, your DOT, drug testing. So the FMCSA is a big regulator in this trucking industry and a box truck or semi, this is what you're going to need to do first after you start your LLC. So box truck and semi, hot shot, flatbed or whatever, they're gonna need to start up this FMCSA authority. All you have to go is fmcsa.com get your authority started up fill out all the information how many trucks you have how many drivers how much weight you're carrying and what your freight commodity is that's all there is to it and there is a 21 day business 21 business day waiting period to get approved for this fmcsa so what you want to do while you're waiting especially around about day 17 to 21 is you want to start up your insurance you want to start up this insurance and for box truck and heavier you're gonna need to have a one million dollar auto liability but you want to start your insurance policy with a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar auto liability so that you can save some money on your insurance down payment because these insurance down payments and insurance policies period can be very expensive and you want to save as much as possible so once you start up your insurance policy do the 750 not the 1 million auto liability and a couple days later change it so that you can start driving for these companies because before you pick up any freight guys these brokers are checking your DOT to make sure you are eligible so another qualification that you need with this insurance is you're going to need the $100,000 cargo liability, $1 million general liability for most companies that you want to drive for, and like I said, $1 million auto liability, but you want to do 750 k starting it up. So that's all there is to that. Those three, cargo, 100 k $1 mil auto, one mil general because most companies check that and most companies want to have general liability especially if you want to work for Amazon the only other two certifications that you need for this business is you're going to need your BOC3 you're gonna need a BOC3 which is your processing agent any paperwork that is going to your business is going to get processed through a BOC3 processing agent and it's going to be sent to you. So this is just a third middleman party and it's just another way to put some money into this industry. But you're going to need a BOC3 and you're going to need your UCR, which is another paperwork of pretty much saying that you're eligible to carry and it's pretty much putting you not at fault 
if you are doing home deliveries and messing up people's freight, it gives you more protection. So you're gonna need a UCR registration. And that is all you need to get this cargo or box truck business started. Start up your LLC. You're going to need a business bank account. And then after you get your business bank account, you can go ahead and get some fuel cards. A to B will approve you on spot. Fuel man might take a couple months for you to get approved because one thing about this business guys is three months is the lucky number. A lot of people wanna see that you've been in business for three months to approve you for things. And a lot of people wanna see you've been having an active authority for three months before they even give you their load for you to move. These are all the things that you need to start a successful cargo van slash box truck or semi truck business. I hope you guys found this video educational and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your friends to help them get started in their own transportation business. This business is very competitive guys. So if you want to do it, start now. You want to save as much money as possible. So. Please listen to the things I said, and if you want to learn more in detail how to start up your cargo van business, what you want to do is you want to click that video right there and go ahead and watch that video on how to start it up. I also have showed you guys what it is like in the box truck industry and what it is like to be over the road. So please go ahead and check out this video right here to know what it's like over the road to know the struggle and if you want to know the good parts and if you want to see how to make major money and make seven thousand dollars weekly profit go check out this video right here on my trip to mexico where i did make seven thousand dollars in just one single week and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do things the right way in this transportation business my name is king lada you're watching black investors group please make sure you subscribe and hit that like button Turn on those post notifications to get notified tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that for this daily content. Until tomorrow, we out. Woo!